All right, here with the, the man that's uh, referred to, of course, by everybody, the uh, the number one teacher in the, in the world. This is over a decade. It's getting ridiculous, Butch, but um, you're the guy that gets it done. And the thing is, the, the one word that, that I would think that goes with you is you have uh, the expression, you have the eye. You have an eye for you can just dissect somebody's swing. Uh, you have a feel for it, you, you know, and you, it's not manufactured. It's just a natural thing with you. Well, thank you, G-Man. It's, uh, you know, I don't know. I really couldn't tell you why. I just, when I see a swing, things just jump out at me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and the more swings you look at, and God knows in the last 46 years of being a golf professional, I've looked at thousands of swings. So I think it gets a little easier the more you do it. Well, the one thing that always stuck with me uh, that pertains to you is it to keep things simple. You know, you don't complicate things to make it look like you know what you're doing. You, you break things down to just make it in, in the simplest uh, well, My philosophy block. is that the game's hard enough. And I'm not going to try and make it more difficult or more complicated. I was taught by my father, who I think was the greatest instructor that ever lived. And uh, he taught us that you teach golf at a second grade level, meaning a young boy in the second grade can understand what you're talking about. And less is more. The less you say, the more a uh, student will get out of it. And I think that's important, too. I, don't th I think so many times people are trying to impress the student with how much they know by using bigger words and all of this, this scenario, and that's not what you need. Right. Uh, my job is to pick out what I call a cancer in your swing, which is causing all the problems, and fix that. And once we fix that, four or five other things fall into place, and that's kind of how I go about my business. Well, you've been going about it, like you said, for a long time and very successful, and now you have a, a, a something out, a, a training aid, so to speak, uh, uh, some uh, CDs that are that are out, and uh, it's uh, it, it's. I think you have what ten sec ten sections to this thing. I was yeah, that's Butch Harmon about golf, which is uh, my latest uh, video project. There's a, a look at it. Uh, right. It's four hours long, two uh, two tapes, uh, 250 different tips, uh, interviews with the greatest players that I've ever taught, the Greg Normans of the world, the Ernie Els, the Tiger Woods, the Phil Mickelson, all the great players that I've had a chance to work with. We sit down and talk about what we worked on, which I think the, the viewers will really enjoy because they don't get the opportunity to do that. But it's for everyone. We do segments on junior golf, we do on, on female golf, on senior golf. Uh, I've got all kinds of faults and fixes for every kind of bad shot you could hit. It, it's really accumulation of my life's work. It's just about everything that I've learned through all my years of being in this great business. And not everyone has the opportunity to get a lesson with me. So I wanted to do one last video project, G-Man, and uh, give everybody a chance to, to take a listen to what I have to hear. And uh, we've had good response to it. And I hope uh, those that uh, get it will enjoy it. Well, how long did it take? take you to complete this project? It took a year. It was a, a one-year project. Uh, we had a huge budget to do it. Uh, Award-winning Terry Jastro produced it. Uh, it was a project that uh, we worked very hard on. Uh, as I say, it took a year to do it. We, we have some uh, high-definition, super slow-motion cameras where you'll see some phenomenal pictures of two of my young players that I've had success with, Adam Scott and uh, Nick Watney, and the, the visions of their swing and the positions are beautiful and it's about every part of golf you can imagine it's long game short game every fault you have and fixes mm -hmm. for it and drills and it's something I'm very proud of you know I've done a lot of videos in my life and usually when you do one uh, at the end of it you say wow I wish I'd have done this a little differently and I, I don't say that about this we did uh, over 25 hours of filming uh, and then we, we took it down to, to four hours and two different tapes. The only thing that I'm not happy with is I was 45 pounds heavier when I filmed this, and I'm a lot thinner now. <laughs> yeah, I can see that you dropped a lot of weight. You went on a regiment here, and you I stuck sure with have. it. Um, one, one of the things here, I see uh, number 14 here on the first uh, section, of the ball striking, the basic fundamentals, and, and it says pretty swing versus efficient swing, and that kind of got my attention because mine are neither. Well, you know, you, you, you can look at someone's swing. I, I'll tell you a little story. Years ago, my father, as you know, won the 1948 Masters, so he was always back at Augusta every year. And even when he got older and couldn't play, he loved to sit on the range and watch people uh, swing. Well, he was sitting on the range one day, had his green jacket on, and he was right next to the, the stands there. And there was two people hitting balls. One was uh, Tom Pertzer, who had a beautiful swing, and one was Lee Trevino. 
And uh, one of the guys in the gallery said, Mr. Harmon, that Tom Pritzker has a beautiful swing, doesn't he? And my dad says, I don't know. I'm not watching him. I'm watching Trevino. And he said, why? He says, well, this guy's playing pretty and this guy's playing golf. <laughs> and that's, I told Tom, because I worked with Tom Pritzker in the past, I told him that story. And he says, well, your dad was watching the right guy. Yeah, it seems that he was. Well, yeah, your dad and, and your brothers, your whole family, I mean, you're... You, you and your brothers followed right in uh, from your father. You had that great foundation, and uh, you were all, in your own right, uh, outstanding uh, instructors. Well, what do you I like think... to call yourself? I, you know, they call it a, a swing coach or an instructor. You know, I'm, or... I'm just an instructor. I, you know, they have all these names that you hear on uh -huh. TV, but I'm no different than a teacher that's teaching fifth grade or middle school or high school or a professor. I mean, we teaching is teaching, and it doesn't. Everyone thinks that I only teach the most famous and best players in the world, and yet I spend the majority of my time with the average player. I mean, all, all day long right here, we had a golf school today, I was with a bunch of the average players, and that's where I spend most of my time. So I get as much joy out of watching a person that's never mm -hmm. broken 100 shoot in the 80s as I do as one of my guys uh, winning a tournament. Well, uh, but you've had a lot of guys win tournaments too, I'll tell you that. But uh, getting back to the uh, to the videos, now, where can people order the? How can they order them? You can go to butchharmondvd.com and order it on the mail. If you're here in Las Vegas, you want to come by the Butch Harmon School of Golf, we have them here. Uh, it's seventy nine ninety five. Uh, as I said, it's four hours of instruction. It's anything you could ever want to learn. We've tried to put in this tape for you, and it's done in very simple language, easy to understand. Uh, it's just like taking a lesson with me, only it's a lot cheaper. And you have it in six different languages. You by can the way. get it in six different languages. Yep. Okay. For, we have it in Japanese and Korean and Chinese and English and Spanish and French. So uh, uh, we, I look funny speaking some of these languages, but we've got it for them. <laughs> that was like they talked about this one ball player that uh, Mo Berg, I think it was, or something that that he was a spy during the war and he spoke six languages and they said he couldn't hit in any of them. So it doesn't matter with. <laughs> Well, it's really not me speaking it. It just looks like Oh, it. I know. <laughs> All right, Butch. Well, listen, we appreciate you taking some time to spend with us and uh, uh, continued success out there. And, uh, you know, you're, the people that you're working with, you know, you look at Mickelson and Watney. I mean, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're starting to get into form here. And uh, hey, Guys are in good shape. We're getting ready for the Masters right now. I was down in Southern California on Tuesday with uh, Phil. Spent all day with him working on some driver stuff for Augusta. As you saw when you came in here today, Nick Watney was practicing here. Right. Uh, Dustin Johnson and Gary Woodland, my other two guys, are ready to go. And uh, so I'll be at Doral next week with everybody, and we'll have a good time. Well, we've had a good time with you. We appreciate it and uh, continued success. And uh, thanks for all you've done for the game. I mean, you're, you're probably the, the number one ambassador of golf now. So uh, we need more people like you, and Thank I appreciate you, it. Thank you, man. You're real kind. I love your show, and thanks for having me on. Thank you. Thank you, Butch.